Hello dear students, now we are going to discuss INR 13 which is about Refsum's disease which is again a very important PYQ in our exam. So what we have to remember, Refsum's disease is a hereditary disorder and what kind of inheritance you will see here? You will find autosomal recessive. So remember these are autosomal recessive inheritance. This inheritance disorder will involve which organelle? So remember these are peroxisomal disorder, right? So which organelle is affected? Peroxisome, autosomal recessive, peroxisomal disorder. And this disorder is due defect of the alpha oxidation. Remember, it is alpha oxidation defect disorder into the peroxisome. What will happen because of this? We will find that there is a increased phytanic acid level into the patient right why phytanic acid level has been increased because of deficiency of enzyme which is called as phytanoil coenzyme hydroxylase so this phytanoil coenzyme hydroxylase will be deficient and as a result phytanic acid will be increased so when phytanic acid increases in our serum what can be the clinical feature if you look at the eyes you will see the patient is suffering from the night blindness why patient is having night blindness because there is a degeneration of the retina right this degeneration of the retina is called as retinitis pigmentosa which you can see here in the fundus examination right when you are seeing the fundus examination you can notice that there are bone spicule like areas so this bone spicule like areas are the pigment deposition which is containing phytanic acid Right? So this bone is spicule pattern is the suggestive of retinitis pigmentosa and mostly here it is a pigment which is called as phytanic acid. Right? So this is the retinitis, retinitis pigmentosa which is causing night blindness. Then on clinical examination you may observe shortened bones in fingers and toes. So when as I said when you are going to clinically examine the patient you will find that there are shortened fingers shortened fingers and you can see the toes also especially the fourth toe is very very important so shortened fingers and toes are another important finding right they will have loss of smell they will have a hearing loss ataxia peripheral neuropathy and ichthyosis you know can you can see the fish like scales on the skin is called as ichthyosis which you can see in the refsum's disease and they will have a one very dangerous sequence and that dangerous sequence is cardiac conduction defect which is the major cause of death in these patient right so these are important points which we have to remember about the clinical finding night blindness because of retinitis pigmentosa short hand and toes or their uh, fingers are smaller and in the skin you will be seeing the fishy scale like appearance and what can be the treatment? So obviously treatment is primarily you have to avoid the diet. So what is the primary treatment? Just avoid food which are rich in phytanic acid. So what are the foods which are having phytanic acids? So it, these are dairy products. It can be beef and lamb and they can also include fatty fish like a tuna and cod right so these are the things which you have to restriction so primary primary prevention is the restricting the food or avoiding the food and these foods are dairy food lamb fatty fish like a tuna and cod and apart from this you can give combination chemotherapy combination therapy not chemotherapy combination therapy consisting of docosa hexaenoic acid and cholic acid along with plasma pheresis so how will be the prognosis by seeing all these things and you can see cardiac conduction was defective so we can assume that prognosis will be poor and in this patient as I said cardiac conduction is poor so there is the most common cause of death because of arrhythmia or heart failure so keep learning and keep revising these topic best wishes for your exam